Matt? Hi. Mike Hagerberg joins <laughs> us now. <laughs> well, you've got lots of gadgets, but Squire just broke one. So no, I didn't. It, it powered itself off. You know, this is, I'm sure this oh, is a very oh, oh, technically advanced go. watch, but there's no way to turn it on. Maybe we should show people. <laughs> show, show you show them this watch. This is a photo watch. You can hook this up to your computer and you can uh, load in all your favorite digital photos. Okay, photo it? Yeah. There so it's go. got a little USB connection on the side here, and uh, once you load them in, you can have it scroll through all it your photos. It also tells the time. Yeah. Right. Kind of a side benefit. Yeah, and you can change the photos. Yeah, exactly. And uh, also multiple times, it's got a calendar, stopwatch, and everything in it, it as well. It does. And it's called the Photo Watch from Neutrino. Does anybody really need, I guess this is a question that goes to individuals, do you really need photos on your watch? Yeah. I think some people like it. I mean, we've actually done that on the TV show before, and we've actually gotten a lot of people emailing in. Oh, when are you it? going to bring a watch in, and okay, I can so I'll actually go Dick Tracy to Jiu Jitsu? Like on the old Dick Tracy commercials. We've actually done watches that have cell phones in them. Really? But it's kind of a pain because you've okay. got to sit there and dial on the yeah, actual cool watch. cool when Dick Tracy did it. Well, yeah. I guess the voice control would be better. So if you're going to get calls asking where people can get this watch, where can people get this watch? Uh, it's from a company called Neutrino at Neutrino.com. N-E-U-T-R-A-N-O, Neutrino.com. Or they can just Google Photo Watch. And how much is it? Uh, that thing goes for about 60 bucks. Oh, yeah. see, affordable. That's not Welcome bad. to your Christmas gift. Yeah, no, it's, All right. it's too big and bulky. Okay. Next. Talking about Speaking big and bulky. And bulky. <laughs> so I've shown a lot of external hard drives. Uh, those are big sellers right now, so you can put all your photos and videos and everything on them. This one here takes it to another level. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually fire and waterproof. Wow, as well. does this also strap to your wrist? You <laughs> could if you want, but you'll probably yes, break your wrist. Century say. So it's, it's a hard drive? Yeah, so okay. this is kind of a cool thing. One of my biggest complaints with external hard drives is uh, people are using them as a backup. But what if your house or your business burns down? Then that hard drive burns down too. Exactly. But now you don't have to worry about that because so you've you're got running a fire out of your house, which is on fire, and you're telling don't them, grab the photo yeah, album. Don't you worry about that, man. Yeah, yeah that'll, that's okay. The other thing I don't understand is that people always put their hard drives on the floor, usually by their feet underneath the computers. Yeah. Which is the first place to get wet or kicked, or kicked all or the dust and dirt gets flooded, sucked something into like them. That. So anyway, okay. this is a great little unit. There's a number of these on the market, and just depending on the hard drive size, uh, typically a couple hundred dollars and up. Okay, that's not them. bad at all. Yeah. What, are you living near a floodplain or something? Your floor is always getting wet? Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> or is let's that just, move on. Or is that the dogs mistaking your hard drive for a fire hydrant? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Let's move on. Um, this is kind of cool, a little portable solar charger for things like uh, iPods and uh, phones. That is a good idea. I think people yeah. are wanting to do more of this stuff. They feel more responsible. Does it work, though? That's the question. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. So uh, after you charge, it takes a few hours to charge it, but you yeah. can actually uh, charge up a full cell phone or uh, an iPod out of it, which is kind of a cool thing. So uh, roughly an hour of sunshine equates to about 40 minutes of music on your iPod or oh, about 15 okay. minutes talk time. And again, I know I ask this silly question every time. Could you put it out on a cloudy day and would it still... Work. Charge up. Apparently. Apparently. You should just take yes. this and actually. I haven't. See if it I haven't tested this one in a cloudy so, day. I've tested other ones. But, but, it, work, but solar yeah. energy, solar panels are supposed to work. Yes, even they're supposed to work. Okay. Take it and check it because you ask it every time. I'll, I'll, I'll trust Mike. I got, you, I got other you're going to ask do. it next time. I got other things to do. I can't be. This is kind person. of a cool little charger for people that travel. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm always trying to find a, an outlet at uh, an airport to charge up my phone and my iPod. This is a USB charger, so you basically plug in the USB. Uh, part of your phone oh, and, that's and your idea. iPod. I just plug it in. Yeah, and then you can charge up two devices uh, at any one time. Mm. And they Good typically idea. go for about 20 bucks. That's a great idea. Yeah, from Belkin. Look, at, we actually finished in time. Yes. Well, what's that thing? Well, it's an extra thing, just in case oh. the weather doesn't go so good. <laughs> okay. We can, connected. we can carry her. TVshow.com is where you can find out about all these gadgets. And, of course, listen to Mike Agarbo as well. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. All right, a final look at our weather forecast, Wesla. Good news today and this weekend, although we have Thursday and Friday to get uh, get over with uh, Thursday. Chance of showers, Friday chance of showers as well. I do expect showers tonight, uh, late tonight. But uh, Sunday looks good, Saturday looks good. Don't think we have to stay inside and play with all our gadgets for this weekend. Or unless we want to. Unless we want to. Let's try and squish this in because this is what I want. Okay, this is from uh, Internet View. It's a PC to TV. So you would hook this into your television. Yes. You've got to have a wireless network going in your house. Right. Uh, but essentially, it'll allow you to beam anything that's on your laptop or your 
your desktop PC to that television, so you can be surfing the web or watching on your movies. TV. Yeah, or watching movies that you might oh. have on your laptop or loaded on your laptop. How much is this? That's cool. Uh, these things vary in price. I think this one here goes for about hundred dollars. See, that's what you should do once you get a TV. Mm, yeah, good idea. Hmm. All over that. Okay, <laughs> and then get the fireproof the external hard watch, drive. And you know what? I'll run my entire house on this. You're set up. I am. Wow. I am environmentally friendly. <laughs> get my help.